Hello Douglas. Today is just a mini haul from Wish and of course a try on. But first don't forget to do the usual stuff and see you soon. Ducklings. my name is Sunnies and I'm back with a mini haul from Wish and excuse if I've gonna sneeze or something I'm still sick I've been sick for a week but <laughs> when you're home you have to do something at least to cheer you up and yesterday I finally got a new thing I'm gonna put um, some pictures so you can get a little head around it what it is and it's actually something that you can use to not be able to use this type of stuff. And you know what that is? It's false eyelashes glue. Or if you have like I have the other type of things too. I have those type of magnetic ones too. That you use this eyeliner that have this thing inside that gonna attach the eyelashes for. And if I should be honest it's still... <laughs> I'm still the biggest fan of my Dewa Glue that is a little faster version, version and it's black and um, yeah and I hope I said my name <laughs> of course I am Sunnis and I'm from Sweden and uh, what's new you think yeah this is a thing I saw on Wish I don't know if it works and I actually hoped it was coming at least in a package that was explaining things so at least a little more fancy done but i guess you can't get too much excited if you don't pay that much for the things and it took me some weeks to get it too so it's not the fastest fastest thing you're gonna get i decided to order the, the, the number 30 30 pieces want to see what it is and this should be instead of using glue or like magnetic eyelashes you should actually be able to use those to attach eyelashes and then it should be just fine and I'm gonna use a very cheap brand of eyelashes for this and uh, this is like one dollar one pound less and it's not fancy ones but they works for my glasses at least and uh, because also I have a little problem to doing this because when I showed on the video when they were using those they had this shaped thing and maybe you can get something that is rounded but it needs to stick in place but I'm thinking if I take away I maybe can use this part that is above to actually put them together now false eyelashes always have a little glue in the beginning even if it's not much to do about i'm gonna need to shorten them probably a little bit first too and i'm gonna need a scissor i just realized i didn't bring that closer to me so excuse me if i go out from the thing and i hope i'm gonna stay in picture too because i'm very short-sighted <laughs> uh, but i'm gonna need to reduce my eyelashes first too so i'm gonna see if oops I dropped one that that was a good start note but like I said I'm gonna shorten them a little bit so they fit better to my eyes and see how much I'm gonna take off so I think I'm gonna take off that bit at least I'm gonna see the set sticks so it don't run away from me so and I'm gonna take off as much from the other one too and when I show them, I always go from the longer bit, and hopefully everything goes well. So I took away just a tiny bit of it, but it's to make it a little more okay for my eyes. So, now I at least have a scissor in place. So, like I said, it is not much money and it comes on those type of things uh, and it looks like 
and I think they will stick together in some type of way but when you drive away you're gonna get one part of this thing and whoops <laughs> clumsy me where did I put that one now huh. you're hiding behind the sister then you were supposed like taking it off and you're gonna have like this um, little stick type of thing and that didn't have the rounded thing so i'm gonna use the shape from this form and i guess it's, it's more or less for just making it easy to attach the thing but i can feel it really sticky so i have montage on that one so i'm gonna montage and what i could tell from what they were doing that you're also gonna after cut off the things you don't need but it looks like uh, they're not that uh, long so i probably not have to do that much um, see if i can get it on that way and i need to take one more so it looks like uh, when you're taking up the paper they, they are stick together like uh, a pair so i do the same i put it in the form it's a little hard to show if you're gonna see what i'm doing too but <laughs> the stick got everything before too so this was not easy i'm not the best demonstration person obviously and uh, this looked a little more fucked up but at least it's there and i'm gonna attach the lashes again on the sticky thing and press it so it sits on So you can see that uh, it's actually sitting on the eyelashes. I have no glue and nothing on it. And I haven't done much makeup either. So my thought was, they're gonna show in real time what I'm thinking about it. But I can't tell how long it's gonna last. I might put the comb in later, after I, everything when I know more about it. To tell people what I thought about it and if it's hard to take off. Because it should be easy to just take it off too. So now you're gonna have to take this off. I'm not sure I'm, if I really need to take off so much of it. And this was really sticky. You can see it. It's really sticky. Uh, but there it is. My first one. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't almost get it off. Uh, see if it goes a little easier to use this too. Uh, I'm not that uh, good at putting on eyelashes and I hope it's not gonna stick on everything on the way. But I haven't done much makeup, hardly anything at all. Just put on eyebrows and a little mascara because I have blonde eyes and we're gonna see. And of course I'm gonna come out from the screen but I have to. So you stick it close to your eyes as usual and then I guess you can just press it in place. At least one is in place. Wow. And I'm not sure if that was a good placing. This is the first time I'm using them too. So I think at the same time when I'm using it first time, it's also going to show up for people. I need to take it in. I think to get it off because it's very sticky. <laughs> Can't hardly get it off. Oh, this one didn't go that well. <laughs> Let's see if we can take it from the other way. I didn't expect it to be. You can see. Re. re when I take it, it really sucks. And this time it don't stick to perfectly on. I don't think I've got this last stick good enough on. But I hope it's enough. I think that's maybe like a little practice type of thing. You need to practice maybe to get it more perfect. And uh, here I can see bits when it went a little too thick because it's a little too long Let's see if I can get something off that so 
<laughs> Sorry for not being a professional one. But there is other people that are much more and if you have practiced before. But I wanted to have the realistic thing how I feel from the first try. So let's see if I can get it in place then. Without sticking it everywhere else where it shouldn't be. So, you see, I got eyelashes on, and what I can tell, it was uh, easy to put them on. It's just a little fibbly in the start, and it's a new thing. I haven't done this before, and my fingers have their handicap and that type of thing. So, I'm normally that, not that uh, good at doing things in front of people, especially when it's small things you need to be. Then I go even worse than I should. But as you can see, they are sitting there, and when I'm not dragging, you see, my eye is following, so they are really sticking to where they are. But you need to also be sure that you have pressed all the way. But this was what I wanted to show you, and I hope you like it. And I'm going to see what more videos going to do. But this was all for this time. This little mini haul with those false eyelashes, stripes or whatever you should call them. But I guess if you can use them more than once. Or if you don't use that often and you don't care to keep that uh, sticky things all the time. But I think you can probably use them more than once if you're lucky. So if you have cheap eyelashes, you can use them as maybe as long as the cheap eyelashes last. So this could be a good idea. But if you're unsecure, if you have allergy or something, I'm not responsible. You can always try on your skin first and see if you're right. Because it's like with other type of things when you do for wounds and that type of thing. Some people are reacting on the glue. So it can be some type of reaction there too because... You don't get any information on the box at all what it is inside. I guess it was saying it on the side for a wish what it was, but still can be something you, you react on. So do a patch test first. And now, don't forget to do the usual things and please, darklings, stay safe, be weird, and be nice to each other. Love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm.